Hey guys and welcome to the DevOps series here on Multi Magic channel. I am Manoj and in this new series we will explore the fundamental of continuous integration and using Jenkins as our cool tool. In today's videos I will walk you through the agenda and set up plan for the entire CI segment and also we will talk about what this series is all about and the tools we will be working with and what outcomes you can expect by the end. Whether you are just getting started with DevOps or looking to build real world CI pipelines, don't worry, you are in the right place. So let's begin with big picture and see what this series is designed to deliver. So what exactly is this series about? This entire series is designed to help you learn DevOps in a hands-on way, not just theory. We are starting from the very beginning foundations, which is something called continuous integration or just CI. Now CI means every time a developer writes the code and pushes it to the shared repository. That code is automatically built, test and prepared for the deployment without manual steps. Think of it like this. Imagine if five developers working on a project, instead of waiting for the last person to finish and manually putting everyone's codes together. So here CI acts like a smart robot. The moment when someone submits the code, it checks everything, run test and make sure it's working fine. So that's the power of CI, which has speed, safety and consistency. And for this journey, we will be using one of the most powerful and widely used CI tool in the DevOps world, which is Jenkins. Let's see how it all comes together. In this series, here's what you will learn. First, we will understand what continuous integration is and why it's important in modern software development. Then we will install and set up Jenkins to manage CI process. Also, you will learn how to create build jobs and automate testing. So your code is always checked before deployment. We will go through the complete flow of CI pipeline from pushing code to the running test automatically. You will also learn the basics of CI CD that's continuous integration and continuous deployment. And finally, we will set all this upon a Raspberry Pi, bringing the CI systems to life using real hardware. By the end of this, you will know how to build and run your own CI pipeline using step by step. So in this series, we will be using the following tools like Jenkins, Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu Server, GitHub, Shell Scripting and Automation tools. And finally, we will also explore a few additional DevOps tools to handle networking, ensure security and run testing and seamlessly integration throughout the workflow. As we going forward, we will go through each of these steps one by one, setting them up step by step and showing how they comes together in a real world CI pipeline. So why we are using Raspberry Pi for this CI setups? Well, there are four solid reasons, which is, so what is affordable? Affordable means you don't need expensive servers or any infrastructure to learn DevOps because Raspberry Pi gives you a real work mission to hands on to improve your learning. Then why it easy to set up because we have one micro SD card. Also, we have a working full Linux environment. Perfect for Jenkins and all other tools to set up easily. So why it's more power efficient because you can keep it running 24 by 7 without worrying about high electricity. And finally, you don't need any expensive cloud platforms like AWS to get started because it's simple, affordable and you can do it all right from your dance. So by the end of this video, we will know how to set up Jenkins from scratch on your own missions and clearly understand this where CI fits in DevOps process. Also able to create and monitor automate builds easily. So finally, we build the confidence to take the next step forward to full CI/CD pipelines. All right, that's all for this video. Hope you got a clear understand what this series is about, right? In next video, we will start with setup step by step. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Manoj, and we'll see you in the next one.